Hello, good evening. Today, uh, we are going to take sample from the composting site for the soil. First, we need spatula and bottle. We can just take the soil uh, at the surface. And then we close it for sterilize. Thank you. Now we want to take the water sample behind the lavatory. How to take it? First, sink the bottle inside the drainage and then open it slowly. And then close inside. Close it. Mm. <laughs> and then we, we want to sterilize it. Thank you. <laughs> After sampling, uh, we will sterilize the lamina flow cabinet using 70% of the ethanol in order to prepare lamina flow cabinet for the identification of microbial diversity in the air, water, soil sample using the plating technique. Sterilizing the lamina flow cabinet, we want to ensure either the agar is contaminated or not for the quality control purpose. For the contaminated agar, there is a bacteria growth referred as colony appear on the surface of the agar but not for the non-contaminated agar. We can see the sample, this is the contaminated agar and the non-contaminated agar. This is the first plate for Aga. We are going to place it in Mariam's car. This is the second sample for the Aga. We are going to place it at the post guard. Okay, this is the last sample for the Aga. We are going to place it in the library in the temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Now we begin the sample preparation and the plating procedures. First step, <laughs> weight the soil with the bottle. Record the data. Weight the soil by using the weight balance. Cut the data. Step number two, use spatula to take one scoop of soil and pour it in, into the PB, PBS dilution. And weighted back the left soil and record.
3, the sample then put into the incubator for 20 minutes at 150 RPM. Put the sample in the horizontal ways. To ensure it not leaking. Adjust the RPM to 150. Wait for 20 minutes. Step number four, let the sample settle down for one minute inside the laminar flow cabinet. Step five, after that, use micro pipette at 1000 microliter, which is equal to one milliliter from the sample and transfer it to the new PBS dilution. In the new PBS dilution, take 0.1 ml which is equal to 100 micron liter and drop it bit by bit onto the agar surface. Again, use the auto plate tips for the piping thing. Drop bit by bit. Before spreading the sample, we must sterilize the hockey stick. Dip the hockey stick inside the ethanol for a few minutes and heat the stick over the Bunsen burner. Next, let the stick cool down into the sterilized beaker. Spread the sample carefully by using the stick.
until the sample absorbed by the agar. The stick then dip inside the eternal bag and close the plate and keep it upside down. Thank you. We are analyzing the sample from the drainage. First, uh, we pour the 1.0 milliliter, which is equal to 100 micrometer water sample onto the agar surface. Then we spread it using the hockey stick. Use the sterilized sticks of the grave. Five point zero point one ML. Drop by drops into the agar. Next, use the sterilized stick hockey. Make sure the solution is absorbed by the agar. You can stop after you feel there is the rub between the stick and the surface. And close the lid. Place it upside down. After 14 hours, we are now observing the plating changes. For your information, we kept the plate in incubators at 37.5 degrees Celsius at 7.45 pm and taken out at 9.45 am now we can determine the colonies by counting the number of colonies appear on the surface of the agar by marking them with marker this is the sample that we already marked in. now for a soil sample for sample 1, there is no, nothing changed in the agar. For sample 2, we can detect 43 colonies in sample, in sample soil 3, only 3 colonies appear. And sample soil 4, we found that 80, 68 colonies for the air sample, there is only one colony at air sample 2, while the other two, there is no changes. And for the water sample, there are no bacteria growths in the agar. By observing 
these three sample, we can say that the sample soil has the most bacteria growth within the 14 hours. And we also can differentiate the agar by uh, see the color. For the color red is the mac concave agar and the yellow one is the nutrient agar. We can see that the mango cave agar has less growth bacteria because the mac concave agar only growing the specific coliform while the nutrient agar uh, have a lot of growth bacteria because the nutrient agar supply more nutrients and allow every bacteria growth in that agar. Thank you. The number of colonies on the plate have been determined. We are now calculating the colonies forming unit per milliliter for soil sample. Okay, for in the experiment, we have used, uh, we have prepared 0.1 milliliter of the sample and pour it into the uh, uh, plates. So, uh, as for the dilution factor, we use 1 ml of soil uh, diluted in the 9 ml of PVS solution. So, the dilution factor uh, hereby is 10 and also the number of colonies that we form is over is per 0.1 milliliter. Okay. As you can see here, I'm going to, to calculate for the nutrient agar of soil sample. Okay, this 0.1 is the uh, volume of sample that we pour into the plate and also this one is the dilution factor. So the numbers of colonies that will be formed CFU, which is colonies forming unit per milliliter, is 6,800 uh, 6, CFU per ml. This calculation is only valid for soil sample since there is no dilution for water and air samples.